Okay, so just a short video here on how to take a PowerPoint and turn it into a video file. So in order to do that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to record our slideshow and we're going to record narrations and we're going to record timings. And uh, we do that by using the uh, record slideshow from the slideshow tab. Um, if you've just set up your microphone to get ready, what you're going to want to do is test and make sure that it's working properly. You can do that from the control panel. So if you bring up the control panel and you find the uh, sound settings here, you bring that up, you're going to want to go to recording. And here you can see it's showing that the microphone is in fact working. If your microphone is not coming up here into the upper range, uh, you may need to adjust that. You can click on it and you can go to properties. Uh, you can click on levels here and you can you can boost your microphone levels up. Depending upon your microphone, you may or may not need to make this adjustment. But you can check and certainly see that your microphone is working. Okay, so we've got our PowerPoint and what we're going to do here is uh, start recording a show. So uh, you click on the down arrow button. Um, what I typically want to do is start from the beginning and I will narrate through each slide. As you move from one slide to the next it's going to create a separate audio file. So what you want to do is you want to speak and then before you transition to the next slide you want to pause talking, click, go to the next slide and start speaking again. And it'll create a separate audio file. So let's just go ahead and do that. There are a couple of options here. You're going to want to record the animations and the timing, and you're going to want to maybe use the laser pointer. So you can just leave those options set. Once the slide comes up, you can begin to talk, and you can hit the, you can hold the control key down and click on the mouse button, and it will give you a laser pointer to to point at things. So you can use that option if you want. The main thing to remember is that before you click and go to the next slide, you want to stop speaking. As soon as the next slide comes up, you can begin speaking again. We're now creating a separate audio file for this slide. And your slides will work pretty much the way they have in the past. Uh, you just have to remember, of course, that when you've gotten to the end, um, you want to stop speaking. Okay, the next slide has started, so we can talk about this slide. Uh, here again, you hold the control key down. You can use the laser pointer to, to, to point out things. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So uh, you can run through the whole uh, slideshow. If you need to stop in the middle, what you can do is you can right click. Once you right click, the audio will stop recording. So you want to stop talking before you right click and end the show. When you end the show, uh, it may take some time depending upon uh, how long you've been narrating. And it's going uh, to bring up the slides view here so that you can see there's a timing and an audio file associated with each of your slides. Now, if you uh, you can just play your show from the beginning and listen to it uh, to make sure that it's all good. If you've made a mistake or uh, you don't like the audio for a particular slide, you can come in and adjust just one slide. So if we had this slide here, we can re-record just this slide. So, uh, or you can start all over again. If you go to the record slideshow button and you go to clear, you can clear the timings from all the slides and you can clear the narration from all the slides and just start over again. Or we can just clear it from the current slide and you'll have to do both the timings and the narration. Uh, and then make sure that you're on the slide and now we can start recording from the current slide. And what that will do is it will bring up the same thing here again wait for the slide to come up and we begin our narration and we would move through our slide uh, and then when we're done with that slide all we do is just to make sure that we've finished talking we'll right click and end the show and now we've re-recorded that slide and we can play this from the beginning um, after you have got all of your narrations in and everything is good to go, what you're going to want to do is export this out as a video file. To do that, you go to the Files menu, uh, Save and Send. There is a um, Create a Video button right here. Uh, when we select this option, uh, you can just say create video. It's going to use our timings and our narrations. It's going to record it at a fairly high level here. 
and uh, we'll just give this a new name save it and what it's going to do is it's going to start working on it and it's going to move it into the background so down here at the bottom you can see it's giving us a status now we can't close the powerpoint until this is done but we could go in and, and make adjustments or actually run the powerpoint while it's creating um, the uh, the database file but you won't be able to close the powerpoint until this is done depending upon the length of uh, your your narration this could take a while so just let it go and when it's done you will have created a video file and that's really all there is to uh, turning your PowerPoint into a video